What a do, Boomy Fam? It's your girl, another back with another video. Ooh, y'all, I am back. So let's get right into it. The title of this video is How It's Been Being a Mom, What's It's Like, Postpartum, um, and different things like that, even surgery. So, first of all, how is it being a mom? Y'all, I'm about to be my baby. My baby. But we're about to be two months, okay? Um, and he's been amazing. Um, he's just like any other regular baby. He cries, he poops, he eats, he stays up, he just look at you, and different things. Wants what he wants, but he's been amazing. Um, me and his dad is just, we're living in bliss right now. Like, we're just so, we feel so blessed to be able to be parents. Because at one point, we didn't know if we could. So, this whole, um... Uh, process has been um one that we've looked at with a positive optimistic eye and led with you know that type of heart as well so yes it's been amazing being a mom i love him so freaking much i never knew a love well i knew what love felt like but that type of love a mother to a child is so different it's so different and i'm in love with the feeling of um one day he's gonna be calling me mama can y'all I'm a mother. No drama. So yeah, y'all, I am a mama. Okay? Um, I don't know. I feel whole. And it feels like it's a dream. If you want to go back and see when I first announced that um, we're, we were pregnant, that song from Rihanna, Burn it in a hopeless dream. I don't even know if the lyrics were, lyrics was right because it feels like that. It feels like a dream um, that I don't want to wake up from, and I know it's just gonna get realer and realer because he's only two months. Even when um, it was time for them to, uh, when that was time for me to get discharged, and they're like, "All right, so you'll be going home." Today. I'm like, "Wait, wait, what? I'm going home with a baby today? I had a baby. It's no longer just us two, so a family of three, and so." Yeah, no, it's just been a dream I just don't want to wake up from. Um, I'm excited to see him grow. I'm excited to see his him achieve milestones and be great in life. Um, I'm excited to be a great parent. That's the first thing. No matter what, I'm just excited to be a great parent. Um, and his dad feels the same as well. You guys will get to hear how he feels once we do um, a long overdue video, which is the labor and delivery, uh, I don't know, talking about it. I don't know how to word the title yet, but yeah, a reflection of the labor and delivery. But yeah, so that's that. Um, I've been great postpartum. Like I say, he's almost two months, so I'm two months postpartum on Friday, and it's been amazing. That his dad has been amazing. I couldn't do it without him. When I say I couldn't, I can't, I won't, I will never, can't do it without them. And so I feel so blessed just to have both of them. Um, Cause the thing is, um, a baby is a blessing and it's so sweet to have them. Like you want it in your arms, those little bundles of joy, but it takes work. It takes hard work to make things, you know, make great things. So when it comes to washing the bottles, um, being there for me when I'm sleepy and I have the baby, making sure, you know, everything happens where it needs to, having bathe him, feed him, change him, going to get our food, going to get our medicine, going to get a little stuff that we need, such want. I'm just so blessed to have him. And I know that his son is going to feel the same way once he get older and he realize and see and just appreciate his dad. So I'm just ready to see it all, you know, and I'm enjoying the process as well because I know time flies. Come below. Moms, you know, I know that y'all know time flies. Like, how are y'all feeling? Like, are you emotional about it? Are you ready for it like I am? Like, you know, and every feeling is valid. You can be scared because you guys just never know about the world and so on. So yeah, now that y'all know, and I'm pretty sure y'all guessed that I enjoy being a parent, but now that y'all know that, um, postpartum. So, um, I mentioned this a little bit, everything has been good, um, I've been cleared, 
because y'all know I had a C-section, so I've been cleared for regular activity, not regular, regular activity, but you know, light workouts, you know, the smush mush, um, and just different things like that. So I'm excited um, to get my workout going. Um, postpartum body. Let's let's backtrack. How do I feel? Any postpartum depression? No depression at all. Um, like I said, we came at this uh, this process and this blessing with an open mind, and so that's what it, we're leading with. Um, everything everything in life is a challenge. Anything beautiful takes hard work. So that's one thing we do keep in mind. So um, no, no depression for me. I haven't you know thought about nothing crazy. Um, I haven't really be, I haven't really been crying really been have I ever cried? No. No. Or did I at first I did, like the first week I did. But um that's just cause you know I was fresh out of C section and I just wanted to be there for the baby. But his dad helped me out with that, you know, brought the baby to me whenever I wanted. Different things that nature brought me everything I needed, made the bottle and let me feed the baby. It's just so amazing. So no depression, I thank God for that, because that's a blessing in itself. Cause I know um, you know, it's hard for some mothers, especially when they're doing it on their own. So I applaud y'all because it doesn't, it's not easy. It's rewarding and it's loving and it's amazing to have, but it's just not easy. That's okay. Um, so no postpartum depression. Um my body postpartum. Um, I honestly thought it would have been worse the way I, I can put a picture in um, my baby, you know, was big in the belly in the womb. I thought it was going to be much worse. Um, I do have some scratch marks on my stomach. Um, um, and I do have, I can tell that I have extra skin, but I don't know if it's going to be too much because I'm still in the healing process. Like I'm just now going to be two months, but you know, it takes a little bit more time for to get for me to get back fully to myself. So, yeah, I really don't have any complaints. Um, after the first and second week, every time I put on something, I was just looking in the mirror like, oh my goodness, I look crazy. I'm shaped like one of those weird bottles. This it's not a Coke bottle, baby. It was one of them weird bottles. No. I like those type of bottles, but I don't want to be shaped like that type of bottle. So that's what was going on. So I stayed out of the mirror for a little bit. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking that I'm going to work out regardless. So it wasn't that much of a challenge for me. I was already thinking, okay, well, I'm going to work out. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to let myself heal. So today, I have lost for good almost 20 pounds. So I'm working on that. I'm working on getting back to not my old weight. I want to be a little bit heavier, but I'm working on getting to a healthier weight. Um, and as far as surgery goes, so I see that I'm going to have some loose skin when it all is said and done. Um, I've thought about surgery hard in the past like I'm like I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it I'm gonna save up and do this and do that and I'm gonna go to this person and I follow these pages um yeah surgery looks really good on a lot of people like they get it done and they look really good I mean really good but um it's just not for me um so only reason being is just because I plan on having more kids we plan on having more kids together. We want them to have a big family. We want them to be able to, you know, feel that lovely brother and sisterly love together. And us to have game night, family game night, different things like that. You know, we got this plan. Um, so, that's the reason. It just wouldn't make sense for me to get any surgery right now, at least. Um, I'm 27. I don't know when we will have our next baby, you know. Um, hopefully not too, too soon, but yeah, um, and so yeah, I do want more kids, so that's that, and so yeah, I want to do surgery, but if I didn't want any kids, any more kids, yeah, I'm 27, and if I was stopping at one, I would lay on that table, I would, honestly, even though I'm not promoting it, I'm not shaming it either, 
But um, yeah, to each his own. That's about it. I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's been going on, how I've been feeling. Um, we definitely plan on recording more, giving you guys more of a um, look into our life, um, especially with the baby. It's just that right now we've been focusing only on the baby. We haven't even done a room tour. I'm in his room right now. Um, it's just we want to make sure we get him situated before we start doing anything extra. But I think that we're ready to start. Me and Bay was talking about it and let you guys in because what family matters and this is us you know what i mean like um i'm proud of my family i'm proud of the family that we're continuing to make i'm proud of the scribes that we're gonna make as a family so that's that um if you have any other questions comment below um if you have any ideas that you want me to do any prank ideas let me know in my inbox on instagram my name is my name is at shernet underscore so it'll be below y'all will see it right here and in the description below and that's about it i'm excited just to get um consistent on here i'm excited to share my family with you all i'm excited to grow with y'all so um like always i'm thankful that you guys liked um or watched the video first of all don't forget to like the video you know the little thumbs up at the bottom don't forget to comment if you want to and subscribe you know the girl can always take a subscribe your girl can always take a subscribe and um so yeah thank you for watching peace out. um before i go I just want to say um, thank you to everyone that contributed, bought out of the kindness of their heart, something for our baby. Um, we used pretty much everything, um, came in handy. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to all of his loved ones, his family, his grandmas, his aunties, his great grandmas, his cousins. Um, and just thank you because, you know, without y'all, it just wouldn't have that village feeling and it's just amazing to have um it takes a village so y'all have been spoiling him rotten honey and i just want to before we go mention how cute these shoes is that his grandma bought him look y'all look at that i'm gonna these shoes <laughs> because these are too cute Come below if y'all like these. Um, I think these are Carter's. You know their brand. They got a they got a website and they got a um a department in Target. They partner with Target as well, so you'll see Carter brand in there. Um, so that's what this is. But these are too cute. And they sent him a box of um new clothes and stuff like that. I got a lot hanging up already that we haven't watched just because you know they're from when he get a little bit older. So we can have a little bit. We're still buying stuff in the meantime, in between time for what he is now, which is zero to three, three to six, depending on the material. <sighs> Let's see ya.